Hello. In a season of loss, lost freedom, lost employment, even the loss of someone close to us, we all have a common response, grief. Whether we realize it or not, grief is our natural process of emotional healing, if we let it be. The problem is most of us don't recognize grief and get stuck in it. We get stuck in incomplete grief. Incomplete grief creates all kinds of problems for us. It can look like something else. It can look like irritability and anger and pushing others away. It can make us overreact. It can make us depressed. But Jesus gives us a perfect example of how to process and resolve grief in our lives and it comes from John chapter 11. You see, Jesus had a good friend he loved named Lazarus, who got really sick. Lazarus's sister sent word to Jesus to tell him Lazarus was in a bad way. What was weird at the time was Jesus didn't go straight away to see Lazarus, at least not right away. He stayed where he was for two days. By the time Jesus arrived in Lazarus's town, Lazarus had been dead for days. The thing is, Jesus knew he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead, which he ultimately did. What we also really need to notice here was how Jesus handled grief, both of his friends Martha and Mary, as well as his own. Mary ran out to Jesus and fell at his feet, sobbing, Master, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. Jesus' response is not so different than ours to grief. First anger over the evil of death, and then sadness over the grief of his friends. It leads to one of the shortest passages in the Bible, Jesus wept. The takeaway for us is simple. If Jesus could allow himself to fully experience grief completely, the anger and the sadness, then we can too. Expressing grief or making it public is biblical. It's called mourning and we're told to do it together. So let God know, let others know, it's okay to feel exactly how you're feeling. Jesus tells us in Matthew 5, 4, blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted.